What's up guys? So long story short, there's still tons of confusion out there, especially in American culture, regarding Asian males and white females and how you know there's there's people constantly wondering why aren't there couples like this? Whereas there's the flip side where there's a lot more, you know, Asian females with white males. Um, and I wanna sort of you know clear out some myths because this really compelled me and I really feel like I have some answers for all those people out there wondering what's going on, why don't the Asian males approach, and so forth. Um, now first off, you can't generalize anything. There's always exceptions to a rule, that's the definition of a bell curve. There's always going to be um, really cool Asian males who are confident and they're not, you know, they're blind to race and ethnicity. And I've personally sort of developed uh, that consciously. But a lot of people, a great majority of people, just go through life without really thinking and they just, you know, embody whatever their parents indoctrinated them with. Um, for me personally, you know, I, I decided to be more self aware. And I'm, if you, if you meet me, I, I think I'm one of those uh, exceptions. And I've met quite a few exceptions out there. Um, but again, that implies what the majority is, which I'm going to explain to you guys. Um, I do think, let me, let's just, you know, be completely honest. Um, I think regarding the Asian culture, I'm Chinese, but I think it's more or less the same with many other cultures, especially like Koreans and so forth and Filipinos uh, and Chinese as well. They definitely tend to stick in their own ethnic group and a lot of their parents who have come from the mainland or the foreign land they have implied or explicitly stated to their child um, I would greatly prefer or I want you to marry or date people in your own ethnicity now is that the only reason why this is something that's common no um, another thing is that for whatever reason Asian males tend to be more shy uh, in American culture uh, I think personally I think it's because Asian females just tend to be more attractive to the more attractive gender and so they just you know being the female gender they don't have to do the approaching so their discomfort in America is washed away that gets to my third point, which I think I should should be stressed. Um, it also depends on how whitewashed or American the person is you're talking about. If they're fresh off the boat and they've just come to America a year ago and they're already 20 years old and they can barely speak English, they're probably going to be dramatically more indoctrinated, which means they're going to be severely shy and they're going to be very inclined to only date or even consider things in their own race um, but again there's plenty of people who have grown up here who were born here myself included who are pretty much American uh, me personally I can't speak Chinese well um, others can speak Chinese much better I'm kind of jealous of them but I would say you know the more Americanized they become the less they're likely to date only in their own culture. Not saying this isn't still a thing, but it really depends on the individual. It varies from person to person. Again, you can't just indoctrinate and generalize everybody here. Um, and finally, the last point I want to bring across to you guys is the fact that um, everybody is different and I've uh, surprisingly run into a bunch of people who, uh, you know, they are Asian but they're confident and they know what they're doing and they're not shy to approach people. Now these are a rarity, uh, a, hu a great rarity I would say uh, probably one in a thousand or something like that but these are Asian males whether they're American born, um, usually they're American born um, and that they know what they're doing. And finally the probably one of the biggest things is the fact that Asian males have this mentality where they can't, they're, they're scared to, they don't even think 
the females have a shot. They, they're like, there's no way, there's no way they would even have a chance. So why bother approaching? Um, and there's this one dating coach who specializes in uh, Asians, but also will date, who will teach anyone. His name is JT Tran, and he's coached hundreds of people. And he has said that that's one of the biggest points that he's found with a lot of Asians. And it was the fact that uh, they already have this mindset in their head that um, anyone who is not their same ethnicity will not be interested in them at all. And therefore, they're not going to bother trying. And they have this ingrained in their heads and therefore that's, it just adds on to the fact that they're nervous or they're shy and they don't approach and so that's one of the reasons that inspired me to do this video because I, I've been uh, you know uh, I was checking on the uh, university confessions page and it just inspired me once again because I constantly see these sort of influxes of comments where it's like I don't understand why no Asian males approach I think they're great people they're clean they're smart they're good looking and that is part of the truth um, so Asian, and so you know, if you're not Asian and you're interested, um, I guess you can approach them. But again, it really depends on the person because sometimes they're so shy and their mentality is so uh, screwed up to the point where even if you're coming on to them, they think they're, you're either making fun of them or teasing them when you're really like hitting on them. You know, for me personally. Um, I don't think I was ever to that extent. I was definitely very, very shy. Um, but I was never. I don't think I was ever to do, to the mindset where I was like, I doubt ethnicities other than Asians will be interested in me. I don't think I ever had that. But I do think that certain Asians have that. Again, you can't generalize anything. There's always exceptions to the rule, um, and the majority may not be that great a majority that you're generalizing to, and so. Uh, that's all I want to say, and I just want to leave you guys with a quick anecdote. Um, I remember finding all of these, you know, myths broken out a few years ago, a couple of years ago, one or two or three years ago. I was just on the internet. I was watching YouTube videos and reading articles, and again, it was everything I said demystified. And afterwards, I was just like, "Wow." Now I have this tremendous advantage over other Asian males because they're too shy to even do anything. I have this huge advantage. And I ended up going out there and it took a while, but I started approaching and stuff. And I realized, well, that's not all you need because I got shot down still. Um, and I guess uh, I got a little bit arrogant because it was like, well, not really arrogant because I was still, you know, my self-esteem wasn't that high. But I got out there and it's literally not, it's not like, oh, you just approach and you're good to go. Um, I got shot down. Um, more so, it was just like, not really rejected, but um, my initial body language initially already put them off before I even spoke a single word. And so, um, it's not that simple. It's not like, oh, because... Now I know all these secrets and I realize that all these other Asian males are pussies or cowards. Now I can just go out there and approach and I'll be ahead of the game. Like sure you will be, but at the end of the day, I feel like um, America is uh, at, the, at the center of it, uh, like me and like certain other people. Um, they are sort of blind to ethnicity to a certain extent. And so, sure, you may be an edge up, but not really, because they will treat you, they'll, they'll look at you the same as a white male or a black male, because they don't really, you know, judge you that much based on ethnicity. So, uh, don't get arrogant out there. And, um, again, that's not always true. Um, if you've seen some of my videos on Omegly, uh, where I just uh, randomly, uh, you know, Troll on Omegly, which is kind of like chat roulette. You you'll notice I bump into quite a few races consistently. So I don't think that ethnic, race racial slash racist side of people is completely gone. Um, 
but I guess the point is it's not that simple anyhow I really feel like this video needed to be put out there because um, I mean I just get like one my most viewed video is one of my first videos on this channel and it was on me just complaining uh, about Asians and white Asian males and white guys and it was just really stupid and by the way you know I'm not really only interested in white girls um, I, I am sort of uh, blind to ethnicity to a certain extent because I chose to be to a certain extent you could say and I definitely have my preferences but um, it's not like I only like white females so I just want to put that out there and again um, I guess the biggest message is those are the big qualms out there the big things that I feel like a lot of uh, Asian males in the Asian community sort of has and I wish you could say like oh yeah it's uh, there's there's nothing everyone's the same race doesn't matter unfortunately I I have to say it does to a certain extent whereas they are influenced and they act differently because of their culture um, or at least their prior culture and I really hope this video helped and if it did you know please share it with someone you think it would help tremendously and if you have any questions or comments that you think I didn't address leave it down in the comments below and I just want to re-emphasize the point there's always exceptions to the rule um, but I think those are the general trends in America at least uh, thanks for watching and as always like, favorite, comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'll see you in my next video. And again, thank you for watching this entire video. Leave a comment um, if you did watch the entire video. Uh, I'll see you guys later.